They call him crazy just because he thinks NAFTA is a pretty good deal. I mean, it's not perfect or anything. It certainly has its flaws anyway. Here's your host, Alec Jonas. Hello, freedom lovers, and welcome to Beaver Wars, the only news show sponsored by a jet ski supplement company. I'm Alec Jonas, and let's talk about my favorite subject, conspiracy theories. For years, I've been the only one telling people what is really happening. But now, from Pizzagate to the Seth Rich murder, everyone is getting in on the action. I guess they didn't get the memo that this is kind of my thing. I mean, you don't see me talking about Jesus, do you, Hannity? That wouldn't make any sense anyway, since we all know that Jesus is a myth created by the Romans to enforce higher taxes. But fine. Go on television and the radio and spread ill-informed speculation that is clearly a thinly veiled political statement. Don't even credit me. But if you're going to do it, at least do it right. You can't just go out there and say Seth Rich was the WikiLeaks leaker because then they could prove you wrong in two seconds and you look dumb. The key is to talk about vague, shadowy cabals and organizations that are so secretive, nobody knows about them. And if nobody knows about them, then the fact that there is no evidence that they exist only proves you right. Also, don't spread your lies from a fancy studio. You have to do it from a neon blue studio in your basement that looks like it was built to survive the nuclear war your allegations might cause. Then, make a big proclamation about something so personal and ridiculous that the subject can't possibly refute it. For example, Hillary's breath is always spicy because she's been making out with the devil. And that's how it's done, chumps. And that's all the time we have on Beaver Wars. I'm Alec Jonas, reminding you that 1776 is the price of vain wake, the vitamin that will get your jet ski more swole.